Today's timing tip, Today's timing tips video, we're covering ice dub. Okay, so before we get started on the ice dub video, we're gonna give away the care package from the previous video. The random comment generator picked Nate Criswell. Nate, get in touch with me, Instagram, email, whatever. I'll get a care package out to you. For your chance to win a care package, which is like flies and stickers and stuff like that, subscribe to my channel, like the video, and leave a comment, and I'll pick a random comment. Yeah, super easy. So unless you've been under a rock for, I don't know, like the last 15 years, you should have piles of ice dub. <laughs> I mean, just period. This stuff is absolutely fantastic. I say that word way too much, don't I? I need to find a new word. Thesaurus. No, thesaurus can't be my new word. It, you get it. Ice dub is a synthetic material. It's, it's really kind of hard to explain. If you've never seen it, like I said, you've been under a rock. If you've never seen it, it's um, really, really fine material. Um, you can treat it like dubbing. Uh, you can treat it like laser dub, like a previous video that I've made. Um, but it's, it is, it's just a, a very fine material that is obviously uh, super shiny, super flashy. Um, even, even the black is flashy. Even that is flashy. So I love this stuff. I started tying, um, all of my princes out of it. My, uh, my caddis patterns are almost solely ice dub. Actually just wait. I just kind of thought about this. This is my nymph box and gosh, looking at it, I mean, two thirds of these have ice dub on them. Yeah, they do. I mean, yeah. So I personally feel that everybody should have ice dub. It, like no matter what you tie, from from streamers to uh, steelhead flies to nymphs, of course, dry flies, wet flies. It is just really good stuff in like everything. So in all these videos, I try to use these materials in a way that you may not have seen. Um, so I think I got a couple of those things that are coming your way. So yeah, we're just gonna. Okay, so I have a, like the start of a bully bugger here, basically, just a marabou tail. Next thing we're gonna do is create a dubbing loop. Something like that. Set it aside. Now we're going to tie in our schloppen feather by the tip. Now we're going to fill our dubbing loop with ice dub. Next step, you really do need a gator grip dubbing spinner, dubbing loop spinner, so it'll just be able to grab it. We're going to lay our schloppen feather on top of our dubbing loop then pinch it all together and give it a spin. Kind of brush out your feathers, your feather fibers a little bit every once in a while. and then wrap it on your hook. So 
So when I get to this point on this certain fly, I like to add just a little bit more slopping, just a few turns of more slopping. So I'm gonna go ahead and tie in another piece of slopping. And notice I'm not tying it in by the tip. A little further back so I get those longer fibers. So you end up with something like this. We're gonna do something with the head here in just a second. <laughs> so I have two colors of ice stub here. I'm going to, I'm gonna stack a head on this fly. So I want the darker color on top, the lighter color on bottom. You kind of treat this stuff like we did the laser dub. So when you pull apart how much you want, you need to like pull apart and stack again apart and stack again because they're all all these fibers are totally different lengths and if we can get them closer to the same length by doing this um, then you won't lose as much when you brush it out stuff like that so I'm gonna start on the bottom and I'm gonna 50 50 this which means I'm gonna put it right dead in the middle tie it down flip it over and do the same thing on top with a different color. Now I'm gonna fold the fibers back, tie down in front of them, and do the same thing. and whip finish. Now we're gonna brush this out. At this point you can add eyes, you can you can do whatever you wanna do. I mean, oh, we gotta add eyes, don't we? How's that? <laughs> and yet again, this video is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for anyone who loves learning and wants to explore their creativity and learn new skills. Now you guys know I've taken leatherworking classes and photography classes, but the reason you're here is video. And Marquez Brownlee from MKBHD on YouTube has an absolutely awesome Skillshare course that I've taken to try to help do better for you guys. So, yeah. Not only is it the perfect place to learn a new skill, but it's also a great place to take your current skills to a whole new level. There's a link in the description of this video that will take you to sign up for Skillshare. And for the first thousand people who use the code FLYFISHINGTHEOZARKS, you'll get a free month. Like a free month. One of the main ways that I feel ice dub is underutilized is on dry flies. Especially like a, a, an elk hair caddis. So. So I hope you like the ice dub video. This stuff is stuff I, I've used pounds of this stuff, and I'm I'm being literal. Uh, I'm not I'm not being like grandiose here. I don't know again. I don't know if that's the right word. I don't feel real good in this video. Probably got the COVID. But but literally, I've used pounds of this stuff, and and it's just it's just so good. Like across all the boards, um, all the flies. I just absolutely love this stuff. If you don't have it, like I said, crawl out from under the rock you've been living under and 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 go to the fly shop and get some. I've I've linked Ice Dub in uh, in the description of this video, so you can you don't even have to get out from under the rock. 